Hello and welcome to Lonnie's. Today I'm going to go through how to tie a half blood knot. Before I show you, I'm just going to explain how I like to use a knot. I use it for a hook, a swivel or a clip, uh, predominantly in sea fishing, but obviously you can use it in coarse fishing or carp fishing or any fishing that you do where you're connecting like to a swivel, a hook or, or a clip. The thicker lines is a little bit harder to tie and the thinner lines you just might want to do a few more twists than some of the thicker lines. So here we go. Okay, so to tie the half blood knot, I've got my swivel, my line and my scissors to cut the tag end off at the end. So firstly, I'm going to grab my swivel, get the line through the eye of the swivel, put a tag end through, that's to tie the knot with. We then proceed to twist this tag end around the, li the line. I'm going to do it three turns on this one because it's a bit of a thicker line. Thinner lines might need more turns, thicker lines might need a couple. Um, just sort of gauge it and see what you can pull. I've now created a little loop where it comes around the swivel. I'm going to put the tag end through that loop. And as you see there, it's ready to tighten down now. But before I do that, I'm going to moisten the knot. This is to protect the line whilst you're tying the knot. And then proceed to work that knot down tight. So we pull the tag end and then pull the line as well. So it pinches in together. So you're not going for a fast pull lockdown. You're gradually doing it. With some thicker lines, you might need to tease it into place. Sometimes a knot puller can, can help out here as well. We make sure it's really set down, really pulled down. Okay. The reason we want to do this is in a minute, I'm going to cut this tag end off. And if it slips, that tag end will pull through and the knot will come undone. So we really make sure the knot's set. We then cut the tag end off as close as we dare, but the smaller the tag end, the neater the knot. Discard that properly. And there you have a half blood knot tied onto your line. Like I said, you can use that for swivels, hooks, or clips. There you go. That's how you tie a half blood knot. As you saw in the video, it's nice and quick, a great one to learn. You can use it in many applications as well. So it's a good one to have in your arsenal if you haven't learned it already. Um, just remember to always moisten the knot. That applies for this knot and any other knot as well, because it helps protect the line whilst tying the knot. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Hi everyone, and thanks for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you want to pop along to our channel, we've got more videos on there. Check out the playlist because they're categorized for you there. If you'd like to subscribe to our channel, that'd be absolutely fantastic. If you also want to have an input onto what is put into our videos, the things that you'd like to see, feel free to comment on this video or any other video that we've done. Thank you very much.